Hello my dear students, welcome back to my class and the topic of today's lesson is the marriage in the Bible. We are going to find out what the Bible teaches about marriage. The very first thing we should know about um, the marriage in the Bible is that the Bible says that marriage was created by God and it was good. So we're going back to the book of Genesis, book 1, verse 26. And God said, let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. Now God has given a man the ability to think and create. People think, work, and then bring their ideas into existence. People make great inventions and create the governments. But the marriage was not created by a man. If we refer to the book of Genesis, verse 24, Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. It's obvious that the Bible teaches that marriage existed as a principle at the very beginning of the creation. And it's obvious that the God is actually the author of the marriage. And it also says that marriage is good. Everything God has created is good. The Bible also teaches that a man and a woman who get married in the church should be Christians. The Bible clearly says that the marriage can only exist between one man and one woman. marriage bonds a man and a woman the moment a man leaves his mother and father in order to join his wife they become committed to each other that's why we usually call marriage one of the greatest steps in our lives because it's a commitment in the bible intimacy and commitment are always paired that's why premarital intimate relationships without commitment uh, is wrong and considered as a sin. The Bible teaches that marriage is a symbolic representation of the relationships between Christ and the church. The husband represents Christ and the wife represents the church. When it comes to marriage, a husband and a wife are equally important, but they play different roles. A husband is supposed to lead and love his family, and a wife should support and love the leadership 